Class C airspace is towered airspace which has two levels which are shown on the chart as solid magenta rings. The lower level has five nautical miles radius and starts at the surface rising to 4,000 feet above ground level and then there's a shelf that has a 10 nautical mile radius that starts 1,200 feet above ground level and reaches to the top at 4,000 feet above ground level. Sometimes Class C airspace can vary a bit based on terrain and air traffic factors, which we will illustrate with another example. So the inner circle on the chart is the inner cylinder, and the outer circle represents the shelf. As long as you fly outside of the airspace, meaning over the top, to the side, or underneath the shelf, no communication is needed. However, if you fly in Class C airspace, or above the lateral boundaries of Class C airspace up to 10,000 feet MSL, you must have a Mode C transponder, which includes pressure altitude feedback, which allows ATC to see your flight level altitude on their radar screen. Set your transponder to ALT, or altitude mode, which is Mode C. For Springfield Branson National Airport, the inner cylinder starts at the surface, 1,268 feet MSL, which is the airport elevation shown on the chart, rising to 5,300 feet MSL, 1,268 MSL plus 4,000 feet AGL equals 5,238 feet MSL, rounded up to 5,300 feet MSL as seen on the chart here. The shelf starts at 2,500 feet MSL, Take the 1,268 feet elevation and add 1,200 feet. That equals 2,468 feet rounded up to 2,500 feet. And of course, finishes at 5,300 feet. So you see the 53 on the top. Notice there's also Class C down to 700 feet above ground level and a little section of Class C under the shelf that extends from the surface to the shelf at 2,500 feet MSL. Now let's look at a slightly more complex example of Class C by taking a look at Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport. Here the inner cylinder is flat on the side facing east and goes from the surface, which on the chart is 1,288 feet MSL, and by adding 4,000 feet AGL, or above ground level, gives us 5,288 feet MSL, which gets rounded up to 5,300 feet MSL. The shelf area has two parts. Notice the larger sea looking western part starts at 2500 feet. This again is the elevation of 1288 feet MSL with 1200 feet AGL added to it which gives 2488 feet rounded up to 2500 feet MSL and reaches 5300 feet MSL as we would expect. The smaller eastern part of the shelf starts at 2,900 feet MSL, so it is higher, likely due to higher elevation on that side, and it rises to 5,300 feet MSL, again as expected. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.